everyone, Taylor Pasaki here with Norman Horn. So, although Norman graduated in 2008, he's now a Penn State alum, he's never been more involved with Penn State's Thon. So can you please tell us what your journey has been like? Because you have an amazing story to tell. Sure. Um, I graduated in 2008 and immediately regretted never being a, a bigger part of Thon as a student. So, as crazy as it sounds, I decided to do a marathon of my own. I walked across the country in 2014 over a six and a half month period. And, uh, and since then, my involvement with some families and, and coming here every year is just a new, it's a new experience for me and, uh, and, and, and a wonderful experience for me. So what did that journey entail? So you said six and a half months. Now, where were you staying? How did you get through it all? So I, I started in April and uh, immediately just found myself kind of on my own, just camping every night. And that was pretty much the first three months of my journey was just spending time in a tent. The second half of the trip, I started to meet people and their families and so forth. And every town from the, the, the last third of my trip was spent indoors because people were nice enough to, to lend me their homes as I was fundraising every day that I walked. So did you have like just one bag on you the entire time? So I actually used a, a jogging stroller for children to carry all my gear and I pushed everything across the country. Um, and, and it gave me uh, the opportunity to collect souvenirs, people's pins and, and, and such, because I met a lot of other families, not just Fort Diamond's families across the country. Everybody got involved with what I was doing that I met along the way. So speaking of those pins, can you tell us about what's going on and who they are? Sure. So uh, this family right here is, uh, is the, uh, the Miller family. And uh, I met Alex just via Facebook doing my trip. I stayed with some of their family members along the way, and now I stay with them every Thon weekend, and uh, and I get to hang out with them and their friends and their and their uh, their fraternity and their you know their family every year now, and it's a I, I meet new people just like I was on my trip, and it's a great experience for me. Uh, Colby is uh, another family that lives near me outside of Philadelphia, and I just go and regularly get to hang out with them, dinners, bonfires, that kind of thing, and just uh, just be a part of their lives. So it sounds like although this trip was so long, you've gotten so much more out of it. You've made great relationships. So what would you say the best and worst part of the whole trip was? The hardest part and the best part? Uh, I mean, the, the worst part was just the day-to-day -day weather. Where am I going to stay? What am I going to eat? And the best part was what, what's happening behind us. It just gave me the opportunity to be a part of something I never got to do. Well, that's fantastic. and. It's an amazing thing that you did, so thank you for sharing your amazing story with us. Sure.